Okay, let's check another example of a global parameter. Now let's focus on the building height here and I'll use a line dimension. Uh, I'll select all these uh, levels and finally I'll click on the empty space to create the dimension. So all are 10 feet. Now we'll say after modeling this one, uh, the architect says the ground floor is going to be the car park. It is going to be nine feet and all the other floors are going to be same 12 feet. Now changing that is a tedious process. Okay, you have to change one by one all the levels and uh, there are too much of work. So what I'll do is uh, I can assign a global parameter and change in one shot. Okay, we'll see how to do it. But before that, I'll highlight this uh, dimension because all are grouped. So I'll select uh, this and press tab key and I'll select this one and I'll erase this. And I'll create again a dimension from here to here, a separate dimension. Now this, I want to assign a different value and for all the others, I want to assign a different values. So how do we do that in the sense global parameter? I'll select this dimension and here you have a button, create parameter. You get a dialog box called global parameter properties. So I want to say this as, uh, for example, we'll say car park uh, room height. RH means room height. Everything is okay and I'll hit okay. So now here I have a button. So that means the global parameter is assigned car park RH. And rest of the dimensions I'll select and I'll assign another global parameter, typical room height. I'll say okay, done. Now I have uh, the global parameter, okay. So I'll go to manage now and I'll go to global parameter. So see under dimension, we have car park, room height and typical height. So all are 10 feet now. So I want to make the car park room height as nine feet. I'll change that nine feet and I'll say apply, okay. Now what happened is instantly, this is changed to nine feet. Now here we have multiple flows, right? So this is 10 feet, I want to make it uh, 12 feet. Okay, so let's check, uh, focus on the height, okay? Right, I'll go to the manage and go to global parameter and here, the typical room height instead of 10 feet to see the changes I'll make it 13 feet okay and I'll say apply see the overall height changed so every flow is changing instantly so this is the power of the global parameter so rather than changing one by one for example think if you have this as a 50 flows or 100 flow building then uh, changing that 100 times is difficult so in that case you can use the global parameter to control your work uh, very faster and effectively.